Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Hush for Life 165 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, downgrade from 3.1.3 to 3.1.2 on any iDevice. This includes the iPhone 1st Gen, the iPhone 3G, and the iPhone 3GS, as well as all of the iPod Touch models including iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd Gen MC, iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC, and the latest iPod Touch 3rd Generation. Now this is the iPod Touch 3rd Generation. It does look similar to the 2nd Generation, but this is the 3rd Generation. And to show you that I am on 3.1.3 right now, I'll show you my version right there, 3.1.3. So today I'm going to show you how to get back to 3.1.2 uh, from 3.1.3. Now this video would kind of be useless for you if you have the iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd non-MC, iPhone or iPhone 3G, because it can be jailbroken. Um, on 3.1.3. I'll put a link to my video over there in the description on uh, how to jailbreak 3.1.3 firmware for those four devices. But if you're on the iPod Touch 2nd MC model, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and iPhone 3GS, it is a big problem for you because you cannot jailbreak it on 3.1.3. But there is a jailbreak on 3.1.2, so that would be probably why you'd want to downgrade. Alright? So, we don't need anything, basically, on our computer except for the firmware file, 3.1.2. I'll put a link in the description on a website where you can download uh, the firmware file for your device. And all you want to do is have that file downloaded to your desktop and ready to start the procedure. First of all, props for this video goes to Koi2281. Uh, I followed his video, so props to him go for this, for figuring this out. Alright? So, now let's start the procedure. All I wanted to click is the start button, click all programs, and we're going to go into accessories. I'm pretty sure you can do this on XP7 or Vista. I'm not sure if you can do it on a Mac yet. Accessories, and you want to right click on notepad, and click run as administrator. Alright? Then it's going to, UAC is going to ask you if you want to continue, just click continue with the permission. And here we have notepad. Then we want to go to File, and you want to click Open, and you want to paste this into your, um, you want to direct here. Uh, all you need to do is double click here, and you want to paste this in right here. C, Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. So I'll put that in the description. All you need to do is double click here and paste this directory in, and once you do that, uh, you can... Uh, go over here where it says text documents you want to make it all files and then you want to double click on hosts then um, you might have different stuff here it might not all be the same for you but on the most bottom line uh, wherever the text ends on the next line you're going to paste this in and that's 74.208.105.171 space gs.apple.com alright so uh, that will also be in the description all you need to do is copy and paste it and paste it on the last line of this then all you want to do is uh, click on file and click save not save as save and then we're basically done with the hard part now all we need to do is open up iTunes and iTunes just takes me a second to open up so I'll come back when it's open alright and now that iTunes has opened up you can once again see that I am on 3.1.3 right there so now all we want to do is at the same time we want to click the shift button on our keyboard and left click on the restore button right here. So that's the shift button and you want to click restore at the same exact time. So I need to put the camera down for a second. Shift restore. And then all you want to do is when it comes up with this dialog, you want to browse for that firmware file that I told you to download from that website. And here it is right uh, the IPSW file for my device. All I want to do is click on it and click open and then you want to click yes restore note that this will wipe out your music and applications but you can always sync it back after you're done restoring alright so let's click restore and now it's just downgrading it'll take a little while so let's just let it downgrade our iPods or iPhones hasn't been uh, affected yet once it's done extracting the software, uh, iTunes should start downgrading our iPod or iPhone. All 
All right, and now that it's gone through Apple stage of checking, mm -hmm. now we're ready to downgrade. Here's a recovery sign logo, and we will start restoring momentarily. And then you see the bar appear under the apple, you know, everything's going smoothly. And now we are downgrading. This might take a few minutes, so I will come back when the downgrade is complete. Alright, and when it's done restoring, it'll give you this dialog here saying that it's been restored to factory settings. And our iPod Touch or iPhone is will boot up now. You might get this bar real quick again, but it is booting up normally. However, if you're stuck on this recovery logo right here, which I should only be having for a couple seconds, but if you're stuck on it right now, then you need to go to the link in the description to a video by Koi2281 on how to get out of recovery mode. I would make the video, but... I, I don't really feel like making it since it doesn't help everybody, only the certain few that actually get this error. But if you do get a 1015 error and you're stuck on the recovery mode, uh, go check out that video by Koi2281. Alright? And as you can see here, we're on our iPod Touch. We're on factory settings. And if I go into settings, general, about, you see that I'm back on 3.1.2. Now all I have to do is jailbreak. Uh, once you're back on 3.1.2, I have a couple videos out on how to jailbreak them. I'll put both of those videos, one using Black Rain and one using Red Snow. Uh, Black Rain is a very easy jailbreak, Red Snow is a more comprehensive jailbreak. But I'll put both of those videos in the description uh, now that you're back on 3.1.2 and you want to jailbreak. Alright guys, so I hope you guys um, have liked this video. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, make sure to rate 5 stars, favorite it, comment below with your feedback. Uh, if you have any uh, problems or questions, feel free to email me. I'll put that in the description down there. And uh, make sure to go subscribe as well. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video.